an extraordinary chapter has been added to the story of the first Americans. Finds at a site in California suggest that the New World might have first been reached at least 130,000 years ago. More than 100,000 years earlier than conventionally thought. If the evidence stacks up, the earliest people to reach the Americas may have been Neanderthals or Denisovan rather than modern humans. The evidence comes from a coastal site in San Diego County, California. In the early 1990s, routine highway excavations exposed fossil bones belonging to a mastodon, an extinct relative of the elephant. Researchers moved in to examine the site, and they soon decided that this was no ordinary mastodon fossil. Many of the bones and teeth were fragmented. Some with spiral fractures that may be produced when humans break open fresh bone. Alongside the broken bones and teeth, the researchers found stone cobbles that had evidence of impact marks on their surfaces. Taken together, the evidence points to one scenario. A group of early humans stumbled upon a fresh mastodon carcass, and then removed bones and broke them open using stones as simple hammers with the two larger cobbles serving as makeshift anvils. The surface of a mastodon bone showing a half-impact notch on a segment of femur, the results suggest the remains are 131,000 years old, give or take 10,000 years. The current consensus view is that humans first reached the Americas much more recently, perhaps just 15,000 years ago. It is believed that we have a robust and defensible age for early humans being in America more than 100,000 years earlier than people had imagined. They could have been Neanderthals or Denisovan. Both of these groups were probably present in Siberia more than 130,000 years ago. Sea levels were low and a land bridge existed between Siberia and North America just before 130,000 years ago. Either group could in theory have wandered across. Alternatively, it might have been modern humans Homo sapiens. That made it to the New World 130,000 years ago. Recent archaeological evidence suggests our species was in China 120,000 years ago, which is far earlier than once thought. Perhaps modern humans were in East Asia even earlier than the Chinese fossils suggest, and moved into the Americas from there. However, given that genetic studies strongly suggest that indigenous populations in North America trace their routes to much later episodes of colonization, it would seem likely that whoever arrived there 130,000 years ago didn't survive very long. Researchers express extreme caution about the conclusions, saying that broken bones and stones alone do not make a credible archaeological. By 130,000 years ago, hominins elsewhere in the world were making elaborate stone tools. Nothing this complicated was found near the mastodon. Simple stone tools of a similar age have been found in only one place. Homo floresiensis, the hobbit, left a record of relatively simple stone tools on the Indonesian island of Flores. But even these tools show a level of complexity not seen at the mastodon site. If these are indeed humanly modified artifacts they make the typical hobbit tool look like an iPhone. On the other hand since Neanderthals are last seen in Europe around 24,000 years ago, it is likely that they were long gone by the time humans arrived in the Americas. The Denisovan we know far less about, the one find in Denisova itself is 41,000 years old. None of the disputed finds dated to before 15,000 years ago have been attributed to either group. But if the 130,000 date is correct it must have been one of these groups or another like them since modern humans did not leave Africa until 80,000 years ago at the earliest. It is based on broken mastodon bones that are allegedly evidence of human predation, not direct finds of human bones or settlements.